I have a question for Paul McKeever. Could you please give me an example of an action which you believe to be altruistic or not rationally selfish? Hi Sergio. I guess you're going to be getting at the idea of isn't everyone always acting, you know, selfishly? Isn't everyone, by virtue of the fact that they always do ultimately what they want to do, uh, acting selfishly? And the answer to that is no. But let me give you the answer to your question first. The answer to your question, or an answer to your question first, would be something like, for example, a woman who loves her child very much, uh, giving her child's food to uh, the child of a woman who she doesn't know at all, uh, and a child that she doesn't know at all, uh, with the effect that her own child would starve and that the stranger's child would live. Now imagine that that mother had done so willingly, that it's what she wanted to do. Why is that then not selfishness? Well, because selfishness in the context it's discussed by Ayn Rand is rational selfishness, which means it's selfishness based on uh, the pursuit of one's values. Uh, when you talk about selfishness, absent values, absent uh, you know, the consideration of what is valuable in the furtherance of your own life and happiness. Uh, then you can veer into doing things that, although they may be the things that you want to do, are not selfish because they do not serve you. They do not serve you rationally. But before you can even discover what is a sacrifice in a particular circumstance, you have to know in those circumstances what are the values in play. You have to identify rationally, using your own life as the standard of value, what things are of more value to you. Uh, in the case of the mother, she would value her child more than the stranger's child, and therefore her child is a greater value. Uh, therefore, to pursue her values, or to make a decision that is selfish, she would have to make sure that she did not give her child's food to the stranger's child because she values the life of her own child more than the life of the stranger's child. By giving the food to the stranger's child and allowing her own child to starve, she's not putting her own values first. She's not putting the life of her own child, which she values more than the life of the stranger, uh, first. And instead she's putting some other value, some lesser value, first. Now let's say that she it's a neighbor's child and um, you know she loves the neighbor and she loves the neighbor's child but she loves her own child more than either of the neighbor or the neighbor's child then it would still be wrong for her to part with the food it would still be wrong for her to take her own child's food and give it to the neighbor or the neighbor's child because although she would be pursuing a value perhaps by giving those people food she would be sacrificing an even greater value i.e. her own child's life and you never do that. In Ayn Rand's philosophy, uh, you never prefer a lower value to a higher one. You never exchange a higher value for a lower one. And that's exactly what you would be doing if you were to take food from your own child's mouth and give it to uh, the neighbor's child, even if you loved that child, but not as much as your own child. Now, hopefully that brief example explains why uh, just doing what you like to do doesn't mean that you are acting selfishly. Doing what you want to do because you whim it, because it's what you decide to do for some irrational reason, does not mean that necessarily you are acting um, selfishly. To act selfishly is to make sure that you always act in the pursuit of your own values, happiness and life, rather than in the pursuit of someone else's at the expense of your own. Okay? Um, to read about this, uh, you would probably best benefit from reading an essay in The Virtue of Selfishness. It's a collection of essays uh, published by the Ayn Rand Institute, I think, but in any event, the uh, estate of Ayn Rand. And um, it's an essay, I think, written by Nathaniel Brandon, who, although he's not necessarily associated with objectivism anymore, his essay still appears in the, the book uh, The Virtue of Selfishness. And I think the essay is called um, Isn't Everybody Selfish? something along those lines. Have a look at that book and that should explain in pretty good detail why just doing what you want is not always uh, selfish. That it has to do more with the pursuit of one's values versus the pursuit of someone else's at your own expense. Okay? Hope that answers it. Uh, have any more questions? Just let me know.